stopped just now on my way back to Swansea to pick up the batteries and go back to the theatre. Rookie mistake, rookie mistake. way to Hnechli to film uh, New Heights Performing Academy's show. Uh, the show is in the Furness Theatre which is absolutely stunning theatre and uh, like most theatres the staff are so lovely they just can't do enough for uh, the customers. I love that theatre, absolutely love it. It's quite a modern theatre. I don't know when it was built, but uh, obviously um, it's not like Grand Theatre, which, uh, as most of you know, is quite traditional style of theatre. But yeah, it's gorgeous in there. Last time I filmed for New Heights Performance Academy, literally it was the night before the whole country lock, uh, shut down. So it was the very last show in the furnace uh, and it's such a strange feeling at the time because when we came out to the theatre we knew that was we were going into a lockdown after that and uh, yeah it was quite an eerie feeling not knowing what's going to happen and to think how far we've come in a year and a half. Uh, since the lockdown started and all this commotion started it's crazy and it's lovely to be back it's lovely to be back in the theatre right we're coming up to a corner that I absolutely hate because um, it's quite a tight narrow corner it's like a bridge I think and the cars never hardly ever give me space to get through here. So it always scares me. Because it's not their fault, they don't realize how wide I am. There are two performances today. It's a matinee at one o'clock and then uh, the sort of evening or late afternoon at five o'clock. Usually I only have about an hour, two hours between matinee and the next performance. So I always worry that I wouldn't have enough time to set up all the cameras. So I tend to go early, set up as much as I can, and then finish setting up after the matinee. But for this, I also um, said I'll do some photos at the matinee for um, me as well, you know. As I mentioned earlier, um, the last show I filmed for them was just before we went into a lockdown and it was amazing what these children did on that stage was truly incredible incredible um, the company is run by Rebecca and David who are a lovely couple really friendly down to earth very talented 
uh, they really know their stuff as well as I say they actually uh, run Lambda courses there so I'm really looking forward to today I'm absolutely dying of thirst uh, but I couldn't drink water I couldn't eat anything just because the new regulation that's come out is they'll test people they do a fl lateral flow test I think it's called uh, for everyone that enters the theater so obviously I didn't want to eat or drink anything just in case it affects the test because it'd be really embarrassing if I get there and I test positive and I can't go in Oh, I would literally die of shame <laughs> It's not because I'm worried about uh, not working. I, I'm more worried about letting the children down because obviously they've been told uh, the show's getting filmed. lovely actually every time a Land Rover passes another Land Rover the defenders they always wave to each other it's really lovely I love that I wish everyone would do that just casually say hello to each other or wave to each other no reason other than just because I'm just hoping when I get there it's not raining because as you've seen, what I tend to do is I'll have a ramp, I need to put the ramp down and then the trolley and the equipment come down the ramp so when it's raining it, I tend to get absolutely soaked and then the rest of the day I'm just soaking wet because a lot of the theatres that I work in especially in Wales because I go there on a regular basis I know them all and it never feels like I'm actually going to work when I go to a theatre it actually feels like I'm going to go and have a reunion with friends it's lovely I'm convinced if when I die I probably want to be one of these ghosts that hang around theatres Realize I've forgotten the batteries. Oh man. What I'll do is I'll set everything up. Uh, don't know whether it's better to go home, get the batteries, or set up. Let's go home, get the batteries. I'm just now on my way back to Swansea to pick up the batteries then go back to the theatre rookie mistake rookie mistake this is going to feel like a deja vu I went all the way to Kanekoe and then realized I've forgotten the bag that contains all the batteries. So I had to go all the way back to Swansea, pick the bag up, and now I'm on my way back to Kanekoe again. This is why I always leave early. Because you never know what might happen. There's so much that can go wrong. So if you've got time, you can always fix it.
started New Heights Performance Academy in September 2019 and we started off with one school in Gowerton, Swansea and um, now we have two schools, we have another one in West Cross, Swansea and they are both going really well and they've both been involved in our latest production, High School Musical, Junior. Um, at New Heights, we believe that all children are stars. Whether they are going to end up on the stage professionally or whether they're just enjoying themselves and they're just going to use their skills that they've gained in the theatre to help them through life. I, I think that theatre is a valuable skill for all children. Um, I believe that it helps to give them confidence. I believe it helps to help them to make friends and have meaningful friendships that will last a lifetime, hopefully. Um, when, the first, when the show starts that we're doing, um, I get really nervous, but as the show goes on, I get really more confident and I just love being with the um, doctors. Yeah, com your confidence really develops over time and the closer you get to people, like the more comfortable you feel performing, because working around them, because you know each other.